Hello, hello dears and welcome back to the channel Benidorm by Anna. It's early Saturday morning and we came to discover with you a great place where to get some typical Spanish breakfast. And they have a lot of other interesting meals, international breakfast, many options really, really for a cheap price. We'll be checking out Ideals in Rincon de Loich in Benidorm. Let's go. With 4.1 out of 5 star rating on Google, nice breakfast, affordable prices comparing to other places, great location and decades and decades of experience, this place keeps attracting locals and tourists. Let's cross the road, let's head inside, let's see what they have to offer. Here we have combined plates, we have different types of meals, menus of the day. There is one right here on the entrance, special salad or tortilla, different uh, choices for first plate. Second one, either seafood, fish, meat or paella, plus a drink, bread with alioli, tea or coffee, 15 euros. And with each drink, you get a tapa. English breakfast and Spanish breakfast out here. Jumbo 60, small one 4. Typical Spanish breakfast variations from 270 up until 4 euros and a continental breakfast for 750. They also have different types of breads, which is actually a great. We'll be trying the 4 euros, typical Spanish breakfast, and maybe some more extra things. Let's head inside and sit down at the table. We've asked for the menu um we were said that please do not show the prices or typical things they have here because they've elaborated this menu through years and years of experience and they do not want everyone from the competence to actually see it but on the left side you have all the breakfast the same that we've seen on the entrance then you have different types of plates you have meals hamburgers um bocadillos, you have different types of teas, coffees, snacks, a tortilla, anything you could think of is available for you out here. And then this is what the menu is looking like. This is not a fancy place to, to dine, it's just a typical uh, Spanish place to go. And they also offer milkshakes. So we took the corner place right by the main entrance. There are several entrances here and you do have an open air terrace just in case you want it. There's the closed terrace space which is where we are sitting on right now. And also there is a 100% interior part which we'll show you in a couple of seconds. And there's a lot of people here, not only Spanish but also international tourists simply because this place has everything for everyone. Uh, I cannot really show you a lot of the menu because they've asked us not to. I suppose it's because of the competitive prices, because of their own ideas that they put inside of the menu, so they do not want to be copied. Hosteleria business is very difficult, so um, they tend to keep it to themselves, you know, or to the guests mainly, but not show it like to the whole entire world. So I get it, obviously we respect it, but I can say uh, the things that you can get here uh, so that you would know what is available and more or less what it would cost you approximately. You can get from sandwiches, uh, pizzas, even hot dogs, you get typical English breakfast, uh, Spanish breakfast combos, teas, coffees, uh, alcohol drinks, cocktails, uh, ice cream, even big menu meals like whole complete menus that you've seen on the entrance for 15 euros, which is actually a very, very good and attractive price. Even you know that the place is good when even the local workers from um, hotels, uh, taxi drivers, those who work in a construction nearby, all of them do visit this place to have a nice meal, have a quick meal and of a good quality and for a reasonable price, which is why it's a very popular place here in the Rincon de Loich, situated right in front of the red line, as you can see. Uh, we've asked for one traditional Spanish breakfast, we've asked for a hot dog with fries, and we've asked for a big bocadillo for my hubby, so I'll show you when it arrives and I'll let you know the total as well, and obviously we'll taste it all out. So so I'm quite curious to see how it's gonna be. For the typical Spanish breakfast, I've switched the coffee for tea. So they brought it to me on a separate plate, the same as to our daughter. Nice presentation. They give you a piece of cake, some whipped cream and the tea. Very, very lovely. The tea that we've asked was the forest fruit tea from Lipton. And it was quite a lovely, I must say, very hot and 
great for the atmosphere this is the closed terrace you have some heaters on it's surrounded by glass so it's always closed and it's combined with the interior part so it's always warm and nice out here the other part is the inside right next to the bar there's where the restrooms are located and some game machines we've been brought the bocadillo this is what the bocadillo is looking like this is from bacon tomato and some lomo these are called hot bocadillos because they're made right now and the meat is cooked at this very moment plus we have our tea with the tomato toast this is the size of the toast they bring you you can put it with jam with butter with whatever you want ham serrano typical spanish ham but i've asked it with a tomato as a typical spanish breakfast and we've got another plate with a hot dog and fries for our daughter at the end we'll let you know all the prices so uh, don't worry while we were drinking our tea and trying fresh fries from my daughter's meal actually they're really nice they were really fresh so i liked her meal too uh, let's prepare our toast oil and salt is all we need in this cake the extra virgin olive oil we open it carefully because a lot of the times a lot of people spill it everywhere on the clothes we open it we put it on our giant very very nicely toasted toast and uh, on top of it we can put some salt in case you want to i do it sometimes i don't it depends on the day they give you small teeny tiny packs of salt like this one so that you wouldn't put too much because it's not good for you either but i do not even use the whole entire pack i just put a tiny bit bit for the flavor if you put some ham on top of it it's not even necessary at all and all this time i did not realize we had the juice missing now is when we got the juice to us so this is my typical traditional spanish breakfast tea instead of coffee freshly pressed orange juice and the toast this is what the toast looked like and it's actually very tasty i love that the bread has been toasted nicely it's not raw on the inside it's very very good this is fresh bread they bring from bakery every single morning and all this with warm tea because it's quite cold outside plus freshly pressed juice incredible so as you can see we have quite a bit of food the bocadillos are quite generous they bring you mayo ketchup mustard whatever you want on top if you want to put something in apart from all the ingredients uh, the plate for children it's not exactly for children but uh, when they brought her it's just enough of fries even more than enough the hot dog they put your sauces as well uh, the tea plate how it's put it's actually quite quite nice usually it's served with coffee but if you get tea instead of coffee they do the same thing and obviously the typical spanish breakfast this would be coffee if you would be a coffee drinker i'm not so i have a tea without um any kind of like caffeine tain inside the freshly pressed orange juice we did not try just yet let's try it out see if it's Smells nice. It is freshly pressed and it has all the pulp, like all the meat of all the orange. It has it inside. Not too too acid, slightly sweet. And it actually feels like they've just they've literally just pressed it out. So not too big. You cannot drink too much of orange juice um, because it's not the same eating the fresh orange and drinking it like this. You can get a very very high peak of the glucose in, in in the body so it's not too good either and for acidity etc but this amount is more than enough to start your day with the boost of the vitamin c so i like the orange juice and um, the toast as well was quite quite good the bread is nicely toasted, nicely made there's a generous amount of tomato on top of it you can also put it with a butter and jam if you want so there's a lot of different options for it uh, I've chosen just a typical with tomato and olive oil because that's what we enjoy and obviously they bring you a like tiny piece of um, olive oil extra virgin the best one that we have in Spain uh, and it's a huge amount you will not probably even use it all so more than enough for a nice start for the day <laughs> 
absolutely enjoy the toast it's so so crispy the tomato obviously is fresh and the atmosphere was really really nice people do not stop coming to this place especially where the heater is put that you've seen in one part of this video uh, a lot of people here more and more keep coming tourists locals those who have here their second holiday homes so it's a very popular place to go and um, now we know why the service is quite quite nice uh, the fries that we've asked for our daughter the hot dog is it good like it yeah so the, the fries were freshly like baked cooked uh, the hot dog is nice uh, and the bocadillo that we got as well um we would rate it eight out of ten probably it's a very very nice bocadillo it's, it's quite generous there's a generous amount of meat of all the ingredients that we've asked for basically and it's a decent size too so even for a man like for a big man it's quite a decent size for a bocadillo uh, so bear that in mind we'll see how much we will pay for all of this at the end so obviously i'll show it to you so that you would know how much this type of meal here would cost and by the way it's early in the morning but even so you are able to ask warm bocadillos you're able to ask for hot dog with fries so if you want slightly stronger breakfast you know you are able to do it even if it's early in the morning still you don't need to wait up until um, midday while we were here people were arriving non-stop towards the open air terrace or the inside part or mostly towards our right which is where the heater is put and the television is put in place but this is a simple place look at this this is a very simple place with a lot of history and people know it it's a tradition to come here already for all our food we've paid 20 euros and 90 cents plus we did leave leave a tip of a couple of euros Let's show you slightly closer on how the bar is looking like. Don't want to show it too close, though. Um, not sure if they would like that, but still. This is what it's looking like. And this is the outside terrace, which is ideal in summer, too. Right now, it's quite empty. There were a group of people here, a group of workers. But isn't it looking lovely? They have some fans here, especially in summer. It's a very, very nice terrace. It's closed from the sun. But at the same time, it's an open air because you have this direct uh, way out towards the street. And as you can see, it's located right next to the most famous hotels of Rincon de Loich, like Melia, Benidorm, Flamingo Oasis, Levante Club, and much, much more. Great location. This is the breakfast and some other options. As you can see, you even have pizzas out here that you can find in ideals here in the bar, cafeteria slash restaurant, beer place, all in one. In Rincon de Loich, right next to the Melia Benidorm, and right in front you have the Red Lion. It's a very famous place, it's a very popular place between tourists, locals, those who have here their holiday homes, and the service always has been great. It's always been great. We cannot tell anything bad about it, uh, and people know it, that's why people return. And that's why tourists also come here because they see it's really really busy and they want to get in because prices are also quite competitive obviously i was not able to show you the entire menu with the prices but i can tell you more or less what things cost for example in jumbo english breakfast it's six euros you've seen it at the entrance uh, and a menu for 15 that's a very very good deal overall really really recommended if you're staying here in brinko and deloitte you want some place where every one of the members would be able to eat something they like both national and international food this would be the spot 100 percent recommended place to visit thank you for accompanying us on today's information video from typical spanish breakfast and not only spanish breakfast here in the rincon deloitte i hope you enjoyed watching it i hope it served you as an extra information on which other places can you explore and discover and visit here in the area Thank you for accompanying us. We'll see you in a new video. Bye, geez.